So in this video, I'm going to explain the story of how I made $24.5 million by the age of 22. Ladies and gentlemen, Iman Gachi is wealthy. He's very, very wealthy. When he says he has upwards of $30 million in assets and liquid cash, he has it. But today's question is not whether Iman is wealthy or not. That's not about his financial status. Today's question is more so about where he was able to get the funds from. How was a 22 year old able to get so rich so quickly? And I'll bring the news to you all. It's not the social media marketing agency. Iman starts off his career just like every one of us. You know about Iman because you are ambitious. You want to get somewhere in life, right? You've seen his videos, you know about his courses, you know about his lifestyle. He as well is a very ambitious individual. He grew up without a father figure, so he had to be the man of the house provide for his mother, provide for his grandmother, and he, from a young age, started hustling. With his first hustle being to flip Instagram accounts. He'd take an account, grow to a substantial following, and then either sell or trade that account, which the trader account you do the same thing to. Grow it, make it better, post better pictures, grow that into substantial following and then sell that. But then he later on stops doing that because he says it was really time consuming and there wasn't really that much money in that venture. So from all of this social media knowledge that he gains from flipping these Instagram accounts, Iman now has an asset. His asset is knowing how to grow someone's social media page. So he thinks, you know what, there's a lot of local businesses around me that have absolutely no idea on how to run their social media pages. I'm gonna go ahead and hit them up and I'll grow their Instagram accounts. With his first client being his high school soccer team. He hits up his high school soccer team and he tells them, you know what guys, I think we need to grow on social media. I'm gonna go ahead and take over content creation. I'm gonna go ahead and take over social media management. I'll manage your social media on Facebook, on Instagram. I'll even take over your YouTube accounts and I'll make content and post on YouTube. I will do all of this for you for a mere $75 a week. That was a complete no-brainer proposal for the high school, so very quickly he gains his first client. And this is what triggers his creative agency career, right? This is what starts everything off. He later stops doing that because it was way too much work for very little money, and he kind of niches down. He niches down to only being a social media marketing agency. His SMMA is what he calls it. He only niches down to e-commerce businesses, and he only wants to run ads. He does not want to provide any other services, building websites, you know, creating content, managing their social media pages, does not want to do any of that stuff. He merely only wants to do digital marketing and run ads for e-commerce businesses. He makes this his baby and he kills it. He completely scales his business from $10,000 a month to six figures every single month. And this is where Iman knew that he was onto something. What exactly was he onto? He was onto an idea, an idea that was able to make him money, an idea that he could sell to you. But the problem was that he didn't have you yet. He did not have an audience to sell to. So quickly revamps his YouTube page, starts posting stuff on YouTube, his lifestyle, what he does. He starts posting videos on SMMA and how to grow your clients and how to acquire clients and just literally everything that he does to make you do the same things so that you have money, right? Now you are enticed. There's an audience being built, an audience that he can sell his idea to. And in this case, the idea is his dream, the dream to sell you his lifestyle. When he goes to Dubai Mall, when he shows you his penthouse that cost him $3 million in Dubai, when he goes and buys Patek Philippe's, who chart mills, Rolexes, all of these watches that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, you as a viewer is now a fan because you're enticed by his lifestyle. You want to live his lifestyle. So what happens is he wants to sell you that dream. And in this case, his dream was a whopping $3,000 course, a course that gave him a lot of backlash. Everyone that took this course, they did not, were not really happy about it because it wasn't really teaching you his business process. I know this firsthand because I've also looked at his course, but I don't wanna go on a tangent on his course in this video. We'll leave that for another video. The backlash was true, the backlash was real, but his fame and his audience kind of took over. There were more people that were enticed by his lifestyle. So even though there was a lot of backlash, there was a lot of people that were like, yo, this course not really teaching me much. There was more people that were buying the course though, still. So his course sales completely took over the revenue that you get from a social media marketing agency. And he went from making 100K a month to making big boy money now. Can you tell me like roughly what your net worth is? Uh, they're around like one and a half million a month at the moment. One and a half million a month, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that's right. He makes a mansion on the hills amount of money every single month. And I know this because I also own a couple of mansions on the hills and I know firsthand how much it costs. I don't know what hills, I don't know what these mansions are, but they're somewhere and I own them. Nice. 
So now Iman has all of the sources of income, right? He's got a social media marketing agency, he's got his courses that he sells, he has a YouTube channel that's successful and making money every single month. And you have to realize that he doesn't have a lot of overhead expenses. He doesn't have a big factory or a, an office space. He does all of this virtually from his house with very little employees. So all the money that comes in, the seven figures that he makes every single month, he gets to keep 80 to 90% of that. So now he has a lot of cash in the bank that he gets to invest in other areas like his watch collection. He has a $3 million watch collection. He invests the money in cryptocurrency and is able to make millions of dollars on Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies that he invested in. So Iman's formula is very, very simple, right? You gain knowledge in an area and a field that makes you money. You go and then showcase that lifestyle that you have where you buy nice cars and watches and your penthouses and things. So you entice a client, a customer base, an audience that likes and wants to be like you. Then what you do is you go ahead and sell this knowledge over to that audience. And you make more money from selling the knowledge about the business than the business itself. Ladies and gentlemen, Iman, whether you like it or not, is very, very intelligent, right? If we learn anything from a story, it's to always stay ahead of the curve, to always see, acknowledge, and be aware of the opportunities that come to your life and take them. And maybe if you do so, maybe you will also have seven figures coming into your account every single month. You'll have mansion on the hills money. Again, I don't know what hills, but it will be a mansion on the hills and you will be wealthy and just know that I believe in you and I wish you luck and success. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Show me some love, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Join the family and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.